Hi everybody, good morning. It's Saturday and we're in the last chapter of Revelation this morning. It's Revelation 22 time and it is a really glorious ending to a lot of stuff that we've been reading about. Um, so I'm going to flip the camera and we're going to read about the river of life. Morning, Lisa. I was just thinking about you. <clears throat> then the angel showed me the river of the water of life. Hi, Beth. As clear as crystal flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb down the middle of the great street of the city. On each side of the river stood the tree of life, bearing twelve crops of fruit, yielding its fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. No longer will there be any curse. The throne of God and of the Lamb will be in the city, and his servants will serve him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of the lamp or the light of the sun, for the Lord God will give them light, <clears throat> and they will reign forever and ever. This is amazing. This is so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. The angel said to me, these words are trustworthy and true. The Lord, the God of the spirits of the prophets and his angels, to show his servants the things that must take place. Behold, I am coming soon. Be blessed is he who keeps the words of the people, I'm sorry, of the prophecy in this book. I, John, am the one who heard and saw these things, and when I had heard and seen them, I fell down to worship at the foot, at the feet of the angel who had been showing them to me. But he said to me, Do not do it. I am a fellow servant with you and with your brothers, the prophets, and of all who keep the words of this book. Worship God. Then he told me, <clears throat> do not seal the words of the prophecy of this book, because the time is near. Let him who does wrong continue to do wrong. Let him who is vile continue to be vile. Let him who does right continue to do right. And let him who is holy continue to be holy. Behold, I am coming soon. My reward is with me, and I will give to everyone according to what he has done. I'm the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may go through the gates into the city. Outside are the dogs, those who practice magic arts, the sexually immoral, the murderers, the idolaters, and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to give you this testimony for the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright morning star. The spirit and the bride say, Come, <clears throat> and let him who hears say, Come. Whoever is thirsty, let him come, and whoever wishes, let him take the free gift of the water of life. I warn everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book, if anyone adds anything to them, God will add to the, him the plagues described in this book. And if anyone takes words away from this pro book of prophecy, God will take away from him his share in the tree of life and in the holy city, which are described in this book. He who testifies to these things says, yes, I'm coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with God's people. Amen. <clears throat> wow, you guys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is just amazingly packed. So exciting to read this. So wonderful to see what God is doing in the end times and when he wraps things up and brings us to heaven. Um, so, yeah, I just um, want to just say that in the beginning of this chapter, it says that um, there is a river of water of life that flows as crystal flowing from the throne of God and the Lamb down the middle of the great street of the city. And that is just beautiful to see that there's a tree of life, 
um, on each side, bearing crops of fruit. I'm just going back over these scriptures um, to comment a little bit. Um, they're for the healing of the nations. Lord, we just pull on that those trees and the fruit of those trees right now. We just pray for the healing of the nations. Bring us your healing power from that crystal river right now, of beautiful living water, Lord, that you've got flowing through us, through Jesus, <clears throat> through the blood of Jesus, Lord. And thank you, God, that there's no curse in heaven at all anymore. No one <laughs> will live. Yeah, no one will live under any curse. <clears throat> Lord, we just remove right now, I'm just thinking of all of the curses that people are living under. I remove them in the power of the Holy Spirit right now. I command every curse to fall off of our shoulders, off of our heads, all the way down to my toes. Lord, I speak life over me and over those who are watching this. Every single um, lie of the enemy. I just remember you just told me earlier today that all fear's assignment is to do is to keep us from going forward and to keep us from... Fear is like a coach that tries to coach us into a corner and a voice that keeps us from our future and from the hope that you've given us. So we just abandon fear today. We abandon everything that would... Um, speak of remorse or um, fear of <laughs> us having made too many mistakes, Lord, and we, we just look into your face, your glorious countenance, and we say thank you that our future is bright, and thank you that your name is on our forehead, Lord, as it says here in verse 4, and thank you, Lord, that you have made a day when there will be no more night because you will be the light, that we all the light that we will need forever and ever. And as we turn over here into verse 7, uh, Behold, I'm coming soon. Blessed is he who keeps the words of the prophecy of this book. I just want to bless you all with the keeping of the word of God that you are able to keep and walk in the prophetic um, bliss of this book and <clears throat> that you will know that your path is sure and that you have much ahead of you. I just see a bright future filled with light for everyone that is watching this and those that we love, Lord. We just speak future and hope over our families, over our loved ones. And um, I just, yeah... Um, Jumping down here to verse 12, he says, Behold, I'm coming soon, and my reward is with me. I will give it to everyone according to what he's done. Mm -hmm. So, Lord, we just thank you that you're giving us legs to our faith, that we will do what we know to, to do, what our assignment is. And every day we will look to you and ask you what's pleasing, and then we will fulfill it, Lord. You are the Alpha, you are the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. There's no one greater than you. There's no one that has um, more influence on the earth than you. We thank you that uh, throughout the scriptures, Lord, you down here, you said in verse 16, I've sent my angel to give you this testimony for the churches. I'm the root of the offspring of David and the bright morning star. And we just thank you, Lord, that you loop around that you were from the beginning, and yet you came down to become the root of the offspring of David. You were in the earth, and now you have looped back up into eternity, never having lost um, your divinity as you became human. And thank you that you understand us and know us so well from having walked the earth. The Spirit and the Bride say, Come, and let, let him who hears say come so let us all say come right now come holy spirit come jesus whoever is thirsty right here let him come if you are thirsty and you need a drink from the living water today holy spirit is saying come you have a place in me you have a place and whoever 
wishes, let him take the free gift of the water of life. It is a free gift. It cannot be earned. Whatever you've been taught, just lay it down right now that Jesus died to give you eternal life freely. It's nothing you can earn. It's nothing you have to work for. It's all because of his sacrifice. And all he asks you to do is open your heart and let him come in. Um, so we just, we bind that word to everyone's heart right now. Whoever needs to hear that, God, that they would be able to respond to your grace. If you feel the Holy Spirit drawing you and wooing you, respond to his grace. Verse 20, he who testifies to these things says, yes, I'm coming soon. <laughs> And then the grace of the Lord Jesus be with God's people. Good morning, Glenn. Good morning, Dennis. I don't know if you're still on, but good morning, everyone. Good morning, Cheryl. Oh, I think I missed you and Patty. Well, the grace of the Lord Jesus be with you all. And tomorrow we'll be in the book of Isaiah from the Passion Translation. It's called The Vision. This is the latest um, book of the Bible that um, Brian Simmons has been able to translate. It's the latest one that's published. I'm sure he's in the midst of another one right now. He's done Psalms and Proverbs and Song of Solomon, but I think those are the only Old Testament books he's gotten through, and now he's finished Isaiah. So we're going to read through that starting tomorrow. And um, you'll find it very refreshing, uh, really a translation of God's love, uh, the purity of the Father heart of God for his sons and daughters. And um, yeah, I just want to pray that you'll have a blessed day. I'm going to go try something new this morning. I have my tennis shoes on, and I am going to try something called pickleball. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever heard of this. But there is a pickleball court right by our house, and lots of people here play it, and it's sort of like ten table tennis and regular tennis. I'm headed over now to get some exercise. I hope that you have a great day. Thank you for praying for my daughter who landed safely yesterday, and she is off and running this morning with her um, birth family. It's a beautiful uh, time for her. Thank you again. Bye-bye.